Hi everyone, uh, Kalani here with more tips for the World Rhythms course and curriculum regarding meeting social and emotional goals through your uh, world drumming, world music activities. So I've talked about arranging and the approach to arranging in the different styles we have in the curriculum, the Caribbean, Brazilian, West African. I talked about some social goals that you could have and objectives. What I haven't talked about yet is how to connect the two. And we do this through the lyric and the message or meaning, metaphorical or literal, of the material of the songs. And I know some of you do this, but I wanna just review it so that I don't leave anything uh, incomplete in terms of how we get there using the music. So you've probably noticed in the book that I'm taking elements from the songs, and those could be the story, you know, the, the program, what, what's, what's happening in the song, specifically characters or characteristics or um, any kind of message that would be in the song. Now, these sometimes need to be coaxed out, and uh, that's, a, that's a euphemism for saying um, you can steer lyrics in a certain direction, right? So there's a song, for example, Zun Zun. Zun Zun is just a song about a bird, right? Beautiful bird of the morning, of the sunrise. Um, I think I mentioned this in the book. I like to then tell the story of the bird. And this is a way to frame um, the song, just like, you know, just like teachers do. Educators do this. Lots of people do this. They'll take an event or a story, right? Because every song is a story about something. And then you get to sort of frame it however you want. So what I would say about Zun Zun is it's about this bird that is not afraid to show her colors, to fly high up in the sky early in the morning, and is happy to let the sunlight reflect off of her wings and to enjoy the feeling you know, of freedom, to fly high, and to uh, inspire people with her beauty, whether she knows she's doing that or not. So who knows? So I can turn this into an example of, and here's, the, here's where we make the switch. What's, can you think of somebody, so we, we'd set up that story and then I might ask, can you think of somebody who was like a model for you? Who was inspirational for you? You know, you might ask, ask your students. And what was inspirational about them? What was, in other words, what was the characteristic about that person, uh, somebody who's here or past, it could be you know, current, a current person or a person from history, um, what was it about them specifically? What was the characteristic that inspired you, that you found um, so inspiring that they became sort of a role model for you or in, a source of inspiration? And then once you have that, let's say it's, uh, well, they were just very level-headed or they, you know, they were very reasonable or they were very uh, fun-loving or they were very honorable, all right? So we can hone in, we can zoom in on uh, a quality. And then I might ask somebody, so obviously if you're, you know, if that's important to you, what do you think you could do to be, you know, fun-loving or honorable or level-headed? You know, how, what does that look like in your own life? And then we, then it, it turns it back. So we start kind of outside of the person, right? Describing something out here. But then um, my job often is to help people identify their values. And that's really what we're doing here. Identifying our values. And then how do we put it into action? And by asking somebody, well, what does that look like? You know, what does it look like when somebody is behaving, behaving honorably or they're trustworthy? What, what does that look like? What do they do? And then you can start to identify specific actions, and then we can ask ourselves, well, how can I incorporate that? How can I show that? How can I demonstrate that value in my own life, all right? So you can take just about any material, and let's take Eensy Weensy Spider, right? Eensy Weensy Spider, super Eensy Weensy, right? Small, he went up the water spout, he was trying to get somewhere, he got washed down, he had some challenges, but you know what? He got right back up, and he climbed that up, up that spout again. Um, now that's about what? Tenacity, uh, believing in yourself, striving, you know, moving towards a goal, not letting life's challenges get you down, you know, all those things. So then again, we can ask, 
well, what do you need to do to reach your goal? You know, et cetera, et cetera, all right? So that's how we can turn a, a song into something that is socially useful, emotionally perhaps useful. Um, and remember, it's, it's any, any element of the songs that you choose, figure out a way that you can leverage that content or those ideas to uh, something positive that we want to increase because our goals and objectives, you know, they're usually about increasing what we want and decreasing what we don't want, right? That would be the, the main goal. So we want to increase uh, peer support and taking the element of the song, taking the content of the song and finding a way to use it metaphorically or, you know, leveraging what, what happens in the song, in the story, and then making it something specific that relates to your, the values of your students or the value of, you know, your community, all right? I hope that makes sense. Um, this is an overview. If you have anything you'd like to add, you can add it below this video. And like I said, I'm sure a lot of you, you know, do this already and you, and you completely understand how we use music in that way. But I just wanted to make sure um, I address that for this course. I want to thank you for being in the course. Like always, uh, if you have any concerns or questions, let me know. And I will see you soon. Thanks.